I'm Lisa from Lisa Canning Interiors and today we are going to be talking about how to create a motivational gallery wall. So whether you are a stay-at-home mom who raises a whole bunch of kids very full time or you are a working mom who is out of the house um, traveling a lot for work or you do a hybrid of the two. You run a at-home business or an internet-based business while raising a whole bunch of kids around you. I think you're going to love this video. So the first thing to do um, in regards to, well, back it up. Why is this important? I think it's important that as busy moms, we have a space in the house that reminds us of what our why is. So in those messy moments of raising kids and trying to balance everything, when we're feeling tired, when we're feeling so unmotivated and so challenged, that we can come and be centered and feel like, okay, I've got this, I can do this. And for me, a little, um, a little space that is inspirational and quiet where I can go and very rarely just have a moment of quiet is kind of nice and remind myself what my why is. So that's the whole key of this thing. It's a visual representation of what your why is. So the first thing to do when creating a motivational gallery wall is to come up with a phrase that explains what your why is. This is gonna look very different to other people and you might be asking yourself as you're watching this, like, I have no idea what my why is. I think you do. If you reach deep down, why is it that you are at home full time with your kids? Why is it that you are getting out of bed to you know, work um, you know, really, really hard at your job and give a lot of value um, to the world in your job? Um, why is it that you write a blog? Why is it that you um, you know, have an online course that um, you know you share with the world, um, and you do that in the hours that your children are sleeping. You know, why, 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 why? Just like really dig deep within yourself um, as to why you do that. What, what, why? What is your motivation behind that? For some people, it might be providing a lifestyle for the family that um, you know that's important to them. For some people, it might be um, you know working, um, you know working really striving to make sure that their life is designed around what matters most. Um, so, so my phrase is exactly the, that. So I, I have in my gallery wall um, a sort of a word art thing that I designed and the words on the, on the um, piece that I designed is success is when life is designed around what matters most. So that's what I look at and what I read when I'm feeling overwhelmed and I'm like, oh my gosh, everything's out of whack. Ah. I go there and I read that and I'm like, okay. Even if I'm not winning at that in that particular moment, I can remember this is what success means to me. Success does not mean to me, you know, a million dollars in the bank. Success does not mean to me accolades and being published nationally and all these kinds of things. Success to me looks like when I have designed my life so that I'm able to be present to my family, that I'm able to use the gifts that God has given me to make great positive change in the world, um, that I'm able to have you know, a date night with my husband on a consistent basis. I need to work on that one, P.S. <laughs> but success for me is when um, life is designed around what matters most. So the first thing to look at when you are designing a motivational gallery wall is what is a phrase that will help you become centered when um, you might feel, you know, off kilter. The second thing is to put up images that, again, motivate you and remind you of your why. So I've chosen to put up fun images of my family, but I chose to put up images that are kind of crazy, that are indicative of the crazy life that is my family. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't choose a picture where we're all looking at the camera naturally, where we're all looking very like Instagram perfect. It's a picture where it was a really brave attempt to try to get all five children somewhat happy at the same time. Uh, but for me, it describes the reality and to me, it's also very beautiful. And then I've got some other images of, um, you know, my kids smiling and whatnot. I have um, a medal from a recent 10K race that I ran, which was a huge deal. I pushed my two daughters in the stroller um, and I've just got the photos actually from that run so I'm going to be including that in the gallery wall as well. The third strategy in creating a um, motivational gallery wall is to pick a color um, cohesive look so that it's a very soothing palette. So my motivational gallery wall is in my home gym which um, for me was a very sort of um, sensible choice because it's where I get to go and exercise um, when I can squeeze it in in the early morning typically. Um, and so it, uh, you know, to have it all in a cohesive palette to complement the rest of the decor in the room 
um, just simply made sense. And um, you know, so it just when you're selecting your colors, when you're selecting your fonts, when you're selecting your frame, just think about an overall scheme so that it can be really soothing. So three things when you're creating a motivational gallery wall to help you remember what your why is. Number one, come up with a phrase that reminds you of your why. Number two, pick images that are gonna motivate you, inspire you, remind you of what your why is. And number three um, is to use a cohesive color palette to you know, achieve a really soothing look. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know in the comments below and you can read more about my tips on interior design, um, work-life balance, productivity, family and personal style at lisacanning.ca.